Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a bit of a drugstore makeup celebration. I have gathered up some of my very favorite drugstore makeup items, $8 and under. Some of these are newer, some of these are quite old, but all of them are amazing and are proof that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get a really fantastic makeup look. So we're gonna be putting them all on today, coming up with a makeup look, somewhat Valentine's Day inspired, since Valentine's Day is in just a couple of days. Should be a lot of fun. Before we jump into the video, I wanna welcome any new visitors to my channel. Welcome. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you leave and now let's go ahead and put some makeup on my very bare face all right so before I forget let's attempt to pull this wild mane of hair back <laughs> I mentioned in a recent video that I recently got a haircut by myself and I've had a little bit of trouble with my curls ever since cooperating which is always a challenge even when my hair is plenty long but with the shorter layers it's a little bit harder to control it so we're gonna kick things off with a primer this is the primer that I selected for today it is the Catrice Aquafresh Hydro Primer it's one in the blue bottle this one is eight dollars and this is actually the most expensive thing that I am using today which is kind of a big deal because I don't even always use a primer so really you could probably get this makeup look with spending more around six or seven dollars in under, which is pretty awesome but we're gonna use this day I do really like this primer I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to my skin it is three in the afternoon and I could use an extra layer of hydration all right let's jump into foundation I've got a good one for foundation the wet and wild photo focus dewy foundation if you've been watching me for a while you will know how much I love this foundation it's a great one I have it in the shade soft beige which is a pretty good shade match for me this foundation, if you buy it at Walmart or Target, you usually can find it for under $5. I think on Ulta's website, it's closer to seven or eight. So I would definitely recommend picking it up at a Walmart or a Target or trying to find it on sale. And to apply that, I'm gonna be using this sponge right here, also from Wet n Wild. It's a pretty good sponge, actually. Very bouncy, it's very soft. It's very non-porous. The like actual particles of the sponge are very tight. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone but me. I have other sponges that feel more like a true, like a sponge you would use maybe in your kitchen. This one feels a little bit more nice and compact. Oh, I do love this foundation though. I think it looks so nice on the skin. Before I move into concealer, I wanna add a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna take my Alter Ego eyeshadow primer. I believe this one is about $6 on the Alter Ego website. I really do like this primer. If you're interested in one of their eyeshadow palettes, which I often talk about and recommend, just did a video featuring these, and ironically, I didn't even use their primer in that video, which is kind of silly. I just, I didn't really think about it, but this is one of my most reached for eyeshadow primers lately. All right, let's move on to concealer, and I'm going to be taking my Revlon Candid Concealer, one of my very, if not my very favorite concealer in the world. It's affordable. It works amazing. Perfect consistency. It's very hydrating without being dewy. It just works so well for me. I believe you can find these for around $5. Again, it kind of depends where you buy these. Oh, nice. I'm getting a blemish right there. Oh. Don't you love when you discover a new blemish? Happy times. Happy times. This one that I just added was the shade 30, and I'm going to add a little bit of the shade 05 just to kind of the inner part of my under eye and my actual eyelids. And then we're just going to kind of blend it all together. I'm going to start out here. And then I'll get my eyes last. Right, let's do the eyebrows next. So I'm going to start off by taking my e.l.f. Shape and Stay wax pencil or stick. Add a little bit of this into my brows. And then we're going to go in with my e.l.f. $2 brow pencil. I have it in the shade, is it blonde or taupe? I always forget. Taupe. And I'm just going to use a spoolie first just to really brush that wax through my brows and kind of get them a little bit more upright. Then I'm gonna take the actual pencil. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of this in today because we are gonna be using a colored brow gel. So I just wanna add the smallest amount of this to this underside of my brow where I have some sparseness. Again, just kind of brush that up through that front section. And then we are going to take this $4 brow product from e.l.f., the e.l.f. Wow Brow, again in the shade Taupe, and we're gonna add this through my brows. Typically when I use this and other colored brow gels, I don't like to fill my brows in too much because these do add a little bit of color, a little bit of darkness, I guess, to my brows. And I find if I use a brow pencil and this product, my brows can just get a little bit too bold, a little bit too dark. I like to be a little bit more light-handed with the pencil when I'm using a color brow gel. 
And honestly, there are days that I just will use this product alone. It does a pretty good job of quickly shaping my brows and adding a little bit of color where I need them or almost filling in areas that I need a little bit of filling in. It's a good one though. I've mentioned this many times. I like this one every bit as much as I like my Benefit Gimme Brow. Okay guys, so we're going to finish off with the rest of the face first. Today I do want to use a cream bronzer. We're going to go back to my oldie but goodie Wet n Wild Contour Stick. My favorite shade of the ones I have is the shade Where's Walnut. It is a little bit deep. I have to be a little bit light-handed with this shade, but I also have Oaks on you and that one's just a little bit too, a little bit too warm or orangey on me. So we're gonna use this one instead. I'm just taking a little bit on this brush right here. Today I'm using the Alter Ego brushes that I tried out in that last video. We're gonna use some of the face brushes today too. So this is the number four brush. It's just a small kind of, I don't know, I guess you could use this for like, you could use this for highlighter. I'm gonna be using it for cream bronzer today though. I think it's the perfect size for that. With this one, because it's a little bit more pigmented, I like to apply it to the brush and then tap it onto the back of my hand and then just slowly kind of build it up onto my cheeks. And with what's left, I'm gonna kind of start to build up a little bit on my temples here. This shade probably works a little bit better for me in the summertime because it is a little bit deep, but hopefully it won't be too, too deep. Right now, I did know, I noticed this morning, during my while I was working out I, we had this mirror in front of where we work out and it's that time of year usually February is that time of year where I really notice like I need some sun in my life maybe it's partly I just am feeling that sort of spring fever I'm wishing it was sunny and warm here we're a little ways away from that. But this is the time of year I notice all signs of any sort of tan I may have had from the previous fall or summer are completely gone and I am at my very, very fairest. I'm gonna take just a tiny bit more and run it really lightly on the side of my nose. Just do a little bit more shaping than I usually do. Why not? Just with what's left, I'm just kind of blending that through this area where I would probably get a little bit more sun, a little bit more tan, if it actually was tan and not makeup. Just adding a little bit of this to my lips just to let it sit on there before we go in with some lip product. This is just the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator in the shade, not shade, mint version. <laughs> Let's move into some blush. So I thought about going in with the e.l.f. Putty Blush that I just used. I think I used this one or two videos ago. I really do love this one. I also love the Milani one. I've been using them a lot lately, but I think I'm actually gonna go for this one right here. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Shimmer Blush in the shade Always Silly. I really do love these blushes and I have not used these for a while. I've really just been so focused on cream and liquid blushes lately. My powder blushes have been seriously neglected. So we're gonna use this one today. So I like to tap a little bit on my brush. This is the Alter Ego number two brush. And again, I'm gonna take some of this on the back of my hand and then just start kind of building it up onto my cheeks. So I have a couple of these shimmer blushes. I think this one is the least shimmery of the ones that I have. I, I would almost consider this one to be more matte. The shimmer quality to this one is very, very subtle. It's a pretty color though. By the way, these blushes are $6 on the e.l.f. website. I was lucky enough to find them on sale for I think $3.50, maybe even $2.50, but even at $6, I think these are absolutely worth it. They're really, really good. All right, let's jump into highlighter and we're gonna go for an oldie, but a very goodie, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. My lid is broken. I have a couple of broken lids that we'll be dealing with today, but I love this highlighter. I have not been using it very much lately, but it will forever be one of my favorites, especially when it comes to really affordable highlighters. I think this is one of the best at the drugstore. So we're gonna take a little bit of that on this Alter Ego number three angled brush right here. I'm just gonna start adding that to my cheekbones and my nose, cupid's bow, take a little bit on my brow bone. Oh, look how pretty that highlighter is. So beautiful. Right, time to move into the eyes. And for the eyes today, we're gonna be using a couple different things. I have the bite size eyeshadow palettes here. The two that we're gonna be using are the Very Bad version and the Rosewater one. Love both of these. We're also gonna add a little bit of one of my favorite individual shadows. This is Lady Bird from ColourPop. We'll probably pop this on the inner corner or the inner lid, but I wanna do something really nice and kind of purpley pink today. I'm really thinking of this shimmer right here with some of the matte 
mattes from this palette right here. So like these two mattes from this palette. I think that'll be a really pretty combination. So let's start with the Alter Ego number no. 5 brush. We're going to go into the Rosewater palette and take the lightest shade. Really nice, light, kind of peachy pink. And I'm going to run this all over my lid. So I'm going to kind of put this everywhere. And then we'll build on top of it. I'm going to kind of take this a little bit below to the other side. I'm really loading this up in my brush and just not being too precise. Honestly, if you wanted to do a really simple look, you could just do this and then pop the ladybird or even the highlighter that you used on your face on your inner lid or your inner corner and put some liner on and be done. If you want a really simple Valentine's look, let me know if you guys have any Valentine's Day plans. I don't think I do yet. I actually just realized this morning that Valentine's Day is this weekend. I don't really have very high expectations when it comes to like anniversaries and Valentine's Day. I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to that kind of thing. Perhaps that's because I've been married for almost 20 years. So now we're gonna go into this shade right here. This is one of my very favorite deep shades of all the Bite Sides palettes. This deep kind of brown toned burgundy. I love these type of shades on my outer corner. I'm pretty sure you guys probably know that. I I seem to reach for them pretty often in different looks that I do or in different palettes that I review. I just think they're so pretty. And this is a really good one. And this brush is the number seven brush from the Alter Eagle set. Look how pretty that is. Very nice and deep, but still plenty warm. So I don't know if I finished my whole Valentine's Day rant, but I would love to know if you guys have plans for Valentine's Day. Is anybody doing anything exciting or fun? Do you have any fun traditions? Even if it's something really low maintenance and simple, sometimes I think that's the best way to spend Valentine's Day. Do you do gifts? Flowers? Let me know. I'd love to know. Okay, I'm going to go back into my beauty sponge just in case things got a little bit too low on this outer corner. I'm going to kind of clean up that edge just a little bit. Okay, now let's jump into this shade right here. It's kind of the purpley pink in the Rose Water palette. I love this shade. It's kind of a taupey, a warm taupe is kind of what I would call it. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys. So it has a little bit of purple in it, but it's not a cool tone purple. It's more of a pinky purple. It is beautiful. We're gonna put this all over the lid. Now let's jump over to the ColourPop Ladybird Shadow. Love this so much. Let me give it a swatch on the back of my hand for you guys as well. So let's swatch it next to the e.l.f. one. Look how beautiful that shade is. Oh, so reflective, so glittery. It is glittery. Every time I use this, I want to make sure. Sometimes you can't tell those kind of details on camera. So know that a lot of the shimmer quality from this shadow comes from a really fine particles of glitter. There's a lot of glitter in here, but it's really subtle and it's beautiful. I love it. Okay. Oh, that is so, so pretty. So easy too. I love that. Okay. Let's go in with some liner. I'm going to take my trusty Wet n Wild Simma Brown now. I just sharpened this. So it's going to be extra sharp, extra good. I'm going to just run this on this outer part of my upper lash line. Do a little bit of a wing. And then we're going to do a little bit of water line just on the top. So really quickly before I add that liner to the other side, I am going to take a little bit of that dark kind of purpley color. We're going to take that on this brush right here. This is the number 11 brush from Alter Ego. And I want to add just a little bit of this on top of that liner just to really darken up this outer corner and kind of smudge it so it's not quite as defined. Ever so lightly taking a little bit of that under that lower lash line as well. Mm, that looks super pretty. All right, let's jump into some mascara. For my mascara, I don't have a lot of mascaras under $8, but my favorite one would have to be from Tony Moly, my Delight Circle Lens Mascara. I feel like I'm the only one in the world that loves this mascara. It just seems to work really well for me. I'm gonna add a couple of coats of this and then we will be back and finish off the lips. All right, you guys, here are the finished eyes. I am loving this eye look. Let's move on to the lips, and we're gonna start off by going in with a lip liner. This is Oh Snap by ColourPop. One of my favorites, especially for a cooler toned pink. Let me give it a swatch for you guys. There it is right there. I actually have two of these now. Then 
Then we're gonna take this lipstick right here. This is from Maybelline. This is the shade Romantic Rose. Really nice cooler toned nude pink. There it is right there. And last, I wanna add just a tiny bit of gloss. We're gonna take a little bit of Creme Brulee by NYX. I just wanna add some of this right to the center. All right, you guys, so here is the finished look. I love how this one turned out, and everything was $8 and under. That is so impressive to me. It really proves that you do not need to spend a lot of money when it comes to getting a good makeup look. I would love to hear from you guys. What are some of your very favorite, most affordable makeup items, especially if they're things you know I haven't tried? I would love to know so I can try them out for myself, so please leave those down in the comment section below. I don't think this will be my last video before Valentine's Day, but happy Valentine's Day either way. But that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to remind you one more time, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you on board, and if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, be sure to hit that notification bell. But that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much again, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh, bird outside my window. Hello, little birdie. I feel like it's almost spring. I hear my kids getting home from school. Be warned, lots of toilet flushing coming up very soon times the toilet flushes. I'm like, does no one use the toilet at school? There's number one. Flush number one.